Gaffney and see Black History on display. That's where we find 7 News is Christine Scarpelli. She's live at the 4th Annual Portraits of Change exhibit at the Visitors Center. Good morning, Christine. Mm, listen, Earl. Liv, listen, Earl, didn't he sound so good over okay. there? Yes, we're talking about all different kinds of art. That is the theme here, Black History Month and Black History Museum exhibit at the Gaffney Visitor Center, as you just mentioned. I don't need to say it twice, we let Vicki say it. Vicki's a teacher, an art teacher, so we have obviously some very beautiful art, talented students. Is that yes. right? Yes. What are we looking yes, at here? Student art pieces. These are what we call face jugs. And um, they are inspired by um, the face jugs from many, many years ago back in Africa that were created as different reasons to create a jug and still make it artistic. And they have like a lot of spiritual references to them as well. Wow, yes, um, we have many pieces, and these are created by elementary school students. No these are from way. our high school here in Gaffney. They should put those um, up for sale. Yeah. They, yes, Could you imagine something like that they're in a beautiful. home? Yes, Honestly. and these are found pieces. The piece, the art, the pieces that created mm -hmm. these pieces are um, found pieces of discarded things put together mm -hmm. to create art. But um, mm -hmm. they are replicas of what mm -hmm. it was to travel together to migrate from one country or one part of a country to another. And you said something very smart years ago um, when uh, still struggling to even have rights like reading right. and writing. Well another reason why arts is so important to us is because it is probably the oldest thing that we can go back to and trace our history back to. We could not legally, our ancestors could not read or write or learn to read and write. So one of the best ways to express ourselves or to even get um, our history across was to learn music, was to teach music, was to teach art, to express ourselves mm -hmm. visually. And pass so that way we got it passed down. Mm -hmm. As well, we're going to listen to Earl as we yes. send it back to you guys. Don't miss a chance to worship. Hear a little gospel music at 1.30 tomorrow. It's at the History Museum. Earl will be there.